Okay, I have some questions by something. Questions that mainly evolve around school. Okay, so I think this would be a really funny topic since school has started, and I really have some questions about the fifth grade. Yes, and other rules. Okay, so, and the questions will pop here below. Okay, so, question number one. Why there is no bubblegum? Yes, I know. I know. Why is there no bubblegum? So we all know the classic rule about no food in class. No food in class and you'll snack time your lunch. But of all the foods you cannot have, you can have candy or stuff. Why can you not have bubblegum? I need to know this. It's true, I don't chew bubblegum, but I like to. People think I'm chewing bubblegum, but no, no. Mm. That, gets, that gets me triggered. So, why is there no bubblegum? Here's my theory, and by the way, I'll t tell you guys my theory. So they don't have to stick gum on your chair or just like, I think we're generals. But I still really want to know. So if anyone um, knows the answer, please comment below. One more mentioning, whoever answered my questions the most will get a shout out in the next video. And if you did get a shout out, congrats, you could have two, two new shout outs. Okay. So, second question. Okay, okay, why homework? Okay, so think about this for a second. We worked all day through the struggles, through everything, through everything. But the teacher is like, we will give I just do this more work to do at home. No, I say that's no, because I know it's everyone's dream to have no homework, but I don't think it's right to give students homework because we did all the work, like, we did all the work at school, and what we, and home time is just a relaxing time. I think it's ridiculous. Okay, so that's my question. And yes, I got that from a scholastic news debate. I hope people get me these days. They're cheeky. They're cheeky albums. <laughs> <coughs> okay, why do we learn every year about Martin Luther King? Okay, listen. We learn about the same stuff every day. About the cat and dog races. Because, like, he's like, like, cats and dogs should be friends. And just like, wait, is it just like... <sighs> so, I don't get it. We should, like, learn about it for just three years. Like, in second grade, we stop learning about it. Okay? Just... Yeah, or th second or third grade, we should stop worrying about it. But we re do we really know? And but do we really want to know in like fifth or fourth grade? Because we know the basics. I can tell the whole story here. Martin Luther King thinks that cats and dogs should have a right, a right to like citizenships. So yeah. Hey, that, that's my question. Why? Just, why? Okay, so the next one I don't really have a personal opinion on, but I just have a question. Why do we need music? Just, why? Just, what? So, you see this? Uh, my boyfriend right here, um, um, Arwen, what do you need? He is not interested in music. Uh, I don't really like music. Not even this character I'm going to show you right now! I'm not interested in... I am interested in art. Art, I meant. You see, everyone? You see! <sighs> that brings us to the 
the next question. This one's a bit depressing. If you're in fourth grade kids, get ready to be depressed. Why can't fifth graders play on the playground? Playground. Oh, this is depressing. Just why? Just can the last year of like elementary school just have you play in the playground all day? No, this is. <laughs>